It's a big week because we are rolling into a new season. And guess what? Within Ontario, we're going to see the earliest summer solstice we've seen since 1796. It's coming in on June 20th, and that's because of the leap year this year. Usually we see summer June 21st, but this year, an early summer, a hot start to summer. Meteorologist Rhythm Reed, let's talk about the heat that's coming, the heat that will impact millions of people. First, let's dive into what is a heat dome. So when we talk about a heat dome, I want to first talk about the ocean waters. We've talked so much about the warmer Atlantic Ocean, and what happens is that hot Hot air from the ocean becomes trapped underneath a high pressure area that is above the in the upper atmosphere. The actual high pressure acts like a trap or a capping. And on top of that, that also compresses all of the air on the surface, which makes the heat or the air near the surface even hotter. That's why we're always looking out for heat domes and always emphasize when it's just hot weather comparative to a heat dome. Absolutely. Think of a pot of boiling water. We're living in this pot of boiling water. Someone puts a lid on it. That's essentially what a heat dome is doing, right? It's trapping all of that heat right over top of us. So Rhythm, let's take a look at some of the numbers. What does the heat dome mean for Canadians? When we're taking a look, a snapshot on Wednesday, this is going to be impacting us through Tuesday all the way up until the end of the week. We take a look at some of these numbers. It is going to be sweltering across southern Ontario, Quebec, and even pushing into Atlantic Canada. You have a lot of the humidex values that are close or in the low to mid 40s. And something so interesting about this, Rachel, is when we compare it down towards Florida, it's going to be hotter in areas across southern Ontario into Montreal than it is going to be in Miami on Wednesday, even down towards Key West. Wow, okay, Montreal is going to be sizzling this week. And you know, a lot of people say, okay, it's June. We've experienced heat like this before. Yes, we have, but when we look at that humidity, we have seen the top humidity in a place like Toronto at Pearson at 44. We're going to be rivaling that. And another dangerous component of this is, of course, the overnight conditions. Because when a heat dome comes in place, we don't get that relief through the overnight. And those temperatures are going to be staying right around that 20 degree mark. So even if you're like, I'm going to sleep with the windows open, open at night, it's still going to be quite hot, widespread from Atlantic Canada all the way through Southern Ontario. Absolutely. Okay, so let's give our audience some advice uh, in terms of how we can handle this heat, because we know there are a lot of vulnerable populations out there, especially the elderly, the very young, pregnant people, people with any underlying health conditions. So with this, we want to remember, we don't want to be leaving pets or even children locked in cars because your car is going to heat up quite quickly. Keeping your house cooled and ventilated is going to be very important and reduce minimal and keep exercise outside minimal during this time because when you have a heat dome you are increasing the risk of heat stroke and you can also get that heat exhaustion yes they're both slightly different but nonetheless both of them are dangerous so for whatever reason if your air conditioning is not working at home and you do work from home maybe it's a good day or week to maybe go to a public library or mm -hmm. even a cafe to do some of that work yeah absolutely libraries malls community centers even a movie theater. Maybe it's a good afternoon to go and watch a movie and get cool. So Rhythm, I think for a lot of people maybe worried about this heat, they're wondering when will it end? Yep, and when it will end is going to be a little bit later on. We're still going to be looking at this heat dome staying consistent as we're going through this week. But areas across central Canada, we will be looking at this low pressure coming in as we're heading towards our Monday. Temperatures will start to cool down in the east. However, in the west, that's when they're going to finally start to see a bit of a warm up. 